what everybody doing today? Oh, I'm gonna work on uh, getting a load of sand in the freestalls here. I got one side done already. Uh, I got another big snowstorm moving in. And then we got, uh, I don't know, about a week uh, below zero weather. So, yeah, it just sucks. So, <laughs> we get this uh, sand put in and try to empty the pit out and clean the barnyard and all that fun jazz. So, see what we get into here. Go nuts now. All right, well, we're uh, getting there. <laughs> I'm only filling the spreader probably about two thirds full. Oh, it's all I can do to get out of the out to the field here. Sun came out just a little bit and made that snow that's on the ground really slick. But put a bunch of sand on the driveway but it's still uh, all she can do to get out of here so we get this big snowstorm here I think we're going to have to park the old girl for a while which won't be so bad if it's actually cold enough for the for the manure to freeze at least you can take a decent load out in the little spreaders when the stuff froze hauling all this liquid with them little spreaders, that, uh, that makes for a lot of trips. Yeah, it kind of sounds like uh, 8 to 12 inches for us. 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Be a frickin' mess. Then, uh, yeah, follows through with that uh, cold snap, so yeah, it'll, be a, it'll be a long week, 10 days here. So I suppose we'll uh, check back. We're doing something a little more interesting, I guess. All right, well, it's the next uh, morning here. The morning of the blizzard, snowstorm, I don't know, whatever the, whatever the hell we're going to get. Come on here. Um, so yeah, it, uh, I think it started snowing around 3.30 or so. It's about 4.30 now. Wind's picking up. Let's see, uh, Tootie here's in no big hurry. Um, <laughs> so, uh, see what uh, the day brings, I guess. Probably nothing good. We'll check back at some point. Well, we're done with the first group. Still a mess out there. Blowing in the shed here. Blowing in on a couple of them first stalls. Frickin' wind. Yeah. Got a new uh, calf back here. A very white calf. Hope that one's a heifer. Kind of looks like it. Yeah, nice little heifer calf. Um, ain't just too terrible cold out here yet. Temperature's gonna drop all day. Or by tonight, anyways, and. Tomorrow night we get uh, below zero, I think. So I'm going to let her uh, clean that calf off for a while and we'll stick it in the warmer and get it dried off the rest of the way. And get these cows switched out and I don't know if uh, roads are going to be passable enough for Mama to come out and feed calves and scrape the shed or not. Might be okay by this morning. I might be on my own tonight. And probably tomorrow morning. 
Oh, got her in the box, warming up, drying off. I think for as uh, white as she is, besides the blue paste on her mouth that she uh, made a mess out of, that's tri shield. It's a vaccine for them, but uh, yeah, I think the uh, current weather conditions and her color, I think we'll name her Blizzard. Well, it's a winter wonderland out there. I'm um, up here throwing the heat house around the 460. Um, hey, yeah, I don't remember if I mentioned that earlier. Um, the, the 766 uh, developed a kind of a loud uh, tick. I thought it was a, hey, a lifter ticking in there, but uh, pulled the covers off and uh, I got oil going down onto all the lifters and all the lifters seem to be uh, moving like they should. So I don't know if I'm getting a rod knock or what the hell is going on with that. So. Grant, I wouldn't have been able to keep the 7 on the feeder wagon anyways because the tires are too wide. I, mean, I can do it okay uh, when there's no snow on the ground, but uh, put uh, tire chains on and uh, I can't get close enough to the bunks. I got, we got tires narrowed up on this tractor pretty good. So I'm going to finish putting the heat hoser on here so I can uh, at least stay out of the wind a little bit. And Dad's clearing a little bit of snow at the moment. Uh, I think I'm going to mix uh, two loads of feed today. Uh, dump one and then let one sit on. And might fill the feeder wagon a second time too. Because I'm sure I'm going to be spending most of the day tomorrow. Moving snow and plowing snow and shoveling bunks. And uh, yeah, all the the fun that comes with this freaking mess. So. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to roll those sides out and strap them up and button them down. And dust off those windshields we'll uh, check back a little later I guess and she's ready to go Sides are still decent on it, but uh, everything else is junk, so might try to uh, put that on the 986 and try to keep that from gelling up. I think we only got about a week of this stuff, so but that's the forecast at the moment, it can always change. So. Anyway, we'll go back out into the storm here and <coughs> get the mixer loaded up, get the cows fed. Load her up again. I'd have fed the cows first, but uh, there's a bunch of snow in front of those other bags. Just gonna be uh, a little more time efficient to uh, do the feeder wagon first. So, yeah, the cows got a little bit of feed left anyway, so ain't taking no hurt. They're all hanging out. I'm glad they're not the dry cows that had to go outside and eat. <laughs> Their temperature ain't bad. It's probably, you know, upper 20s. Lower, you know, I think the high was supposed to be 31 for today. So, yeah. Temperature ain't bad yet, but it's gonna, it's gonna fall off tomorrow. Down into the deep freeze. Better eat fast before it gets covered up. Then I'll have 
back in the direction the wind's coming out and it's kind of circling around and going right in the damn sheds. I bed those down yet. Hopefully, uh, I think the wind is supposed to change shift a little bit later. So hopefully, when the wind quits blowing in the sheds, we'll get in there and bed everybody down. And it's going to be an all-day affair, that's for sure. And we'll get the snow blower on the hydro here. After we get that second load of feed next. Good times. All right, um. You know, the cows don't want to go out in the barnyard. Um, normally I do, I got some round bales of straw. Actually, they're a couple years old by now anymore, but uh, yeah, normally wintertime I put some, some of that, uh, or split a bale up in here with uh, round bales, but I think I'm going to cheat today and uh, bust open one of these uh, mini big squares. Throw that in there for bedding, because uh, the snow in the barnyard just drifted. Uh, I'd have to spend a half hour plowing snow to get up here with a round bale and uh, there's no uh, sign of the snow stopping anytime soon and the wind's gonna howl all night so I hate to move too much snow if I don't have to so we're just gonna cheat and throw this in and it's kind of chilly anyways and if you're ever on a farm and you're cold the best way to warm up is to go shake straw Alright, well we got the uh, blizzard all dried off. I think I'm going to slap a coat on her and we'll get a stall bedded down and throw her in. Probably nice to stand up a little better without uh, being on that grate. Alright, he's a cute little thing. A couple little black spots on him. Go down there, Turbo. Can't go back out there. Gotta go this way. black spot on her neck her sire is a jiggle juice from slick sires and i tell you that's always just a little awkward when the slick sires guy comes around and you ask him if he has any jiggle juice <laughs> throw nice calves though i like them getting hard to get come seems to be a case with most of the bulls i like to buy so anyways we're gonna get her taken care of and we'll check back a little later all right, I got the first group in the barn. I'm going to move this uh, group over and get the shed scraped. Kevin! Let's go! In case anybody's wondering, it still sucks out. All right, one side done. I'll move them back over here and do the other side. I did... Uh, before chores too, take the hydro off the mixer and I got the snow blower hooked up. So we'll uh, have the wind dies down here when I get done. Maybe we'll do a little playing in the snow after milking, but uh, if not, try to get her uh, right away in the morning. It's
right. I guess off to do the milking. Probably check back, uh, I don't know, maybe we're getting ready to feed calves or something. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Quite the drifts out there. At least it's warm in the barn. Won't be here in the next, uh, <laughs> just below zero by the time the cows get it warmed up in here, it's time to switch and <laughs> it gets chilly in here milking, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe someday we'll get a parlor or something. I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, we wormed the cows the other day too. If you, I don't know if you can see that or not. They got, uh, purple lines on their back. I like the purple stuff you can, uh, when you're doing uh, heifers in a group or stuff or something, you can uh, see a little better who you did or not. Yeah, man. I think it quit snowing finally, or at least let up a lot, but uh, sounds like the wind's going to blow all night and county issued statement that uh, county plows are going to be uh, pulled off the road at 7 o'clock and uh, highway plows will be pulled off at 8 and they probably won't be back on the road again before I got to be out here in the morning so you know best off to stay here I guess we'll uh, get things cleaned up here, get the pipeline washing, get the cows out, and get these cows fed. There right, I got my bottles filled up. I'm going to go through and uh, clean the pasteurizer here and dump some milk back in and get them cows fed. Oh, yeah. They're mad. I'm going. Oh, uh, yep, yep, there you go. Get a little too excited. Back up. Nice little Monty calf, but that one's a bull. Okay, back up. Collar coming off on that one. Don't need that. Yeah, man. Back there. Back. Yep. Right. Back. There you go. There you don't go. Over here. Right there you go. Line back hiding in the corner here. you do to your holder? I think I'm gonna need two hands. And even the new one's kind of hungry tonight. Sometimes after you give them a gallon of colostrum in the morning or whatever feeding, you now she's gonna be uncooperative. Oh, back two hands again. Maybe. Oh. There we go. That's the good stuff. I really like that calf. She's just a pretty little thing. And she's hungry. It's even better. Alright. Everybody's 
happy. Just have to come back through and throw a little straw in for a few. And get all these bottles washed up. Yeah, I, I don't mind the actual feeding of the calves. It's uh, all the filling and the cleaning up that goes with it. <laughs> feeding them's easy, as long as they drink. Just like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna go scrape the barn while that's filling. So I got some water pressure to clean the rest of this out. And I uh, guess we'll check back when we're removing snow. I don't know if I'll be doing any tonight yet or do it tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Boy, we got some massive drifts out there. <laughs> My hydro sure works nice on the snow blower though. Next morning. Boy, it don't sound good out there. That wind is really just a whipping yet. <laughs> I might be running solo this morning again, too. Yeah, well. Is what it is. Make sure we ain't got any new calves back here. Just two cats screwing. <laughs> Guess it's never too cold for that. Yeah, they say uh, a lot of the roads are impassable and got cars stranded on it. <laughs> I don't know, I blew that uh, driveway open last night and I don't know if it's still open or not the way it's whipping. Granted, it's gotten a lot colder, that snow's gotten pretty hard so it shouldn't be blowing the snow quite as bad as it was so we'll just kind of have to see what happens by daylight I guess well here's the carnage in the daylight the old drifts in them yards gonna be a fun one could uh, get everything done before I had to do that but uh, yeah it's a, it's a disaster got uh, all the pens blown out uh, dad's working on uh, the big heifer shed there just gonna use a skid loader in there yeah yeah I got to uh, do all up by the bags yet yeah, that bag uh, first bag there along the driveway that's plugged solid so yeah we're uh, get these girls fed here and go from there
we're into the deep freeze 37 below with the wind i think they said this morning um had trouble with the 40 trying to gel up on me so uh you now we stuffed bags in the radiator and up on top trying to keep that warm so one thing uh, is bad about this skid loader is the fuel tank is on the outside i think that fuel just gets so freaking cold this thing's always giving me trouble gelling up um hydro gave me some fits trying to get her started a uh, battery charger and a little bit of patience we got her going uh the 180 i normally fight with the 180 that thing is just uh popped right off. i shouldn't say it popped right off this morning it uh, <laughs> but it started so yeah a couple of frozen waters uh no major catastrophes just uh, it's been a long day uh, all the snow i blew the day before drifted back in in front of the bags so we had to fight with that uh, i went home last night and on my way out the roads were plugged again but uh, luckily i could see the the township truck was filling up with uh, tailings so i just uh, backed uh, back off the road back into town and waited for him to go through so that worked out all right so uh, not horrible could have been worse oh this one good enough probably gone on long enough anyway so uh i don't know got about a week of this crap and i think it's gonna get you know a couple days above zero i gotta grind some feet and stuff and, uh, i don't know maybe take a load out of the little pit so i can clean the gutter at some point and then towards the end of the week it's gonna get nasty the wind's supposed to pick up again wind wind blew hard today but uh, it seems like it went down it was 20 to 30 mile an hour here but I think now we're down to about 10 to 15 for the next couple of days. That makes all the difference in the world, that wind. That wind gets going. Oh. I, mean, I can stand uh, zero or below if there's no wind and the sun's out, but the way you put that wind in there is just miserable. But, uh, yeah, we got through her, we'll get through her, so uh, I don't know if anything exciting shows up in the next uh, cold weather days, we'll uh, see if we can record it, I don't know cold and we'll see what happens so i guess thanks for watching we'll catch everybody later